Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop. My name is Blake. It's Friday night and the pod competition is on Sunday. Um, we'll be flying to LA tomorrow, but the quick update from the checklist from SpaceX on Hyperloop approvals. Um, pretty much everybody's passed the safety briefing and what we're really looking at is functionality test and vacuum test. So Badger Loop, Delft, EPFL Loop, MIT, Swiss Loop, Tomb Hyperloop, um, I've all done really, really well. Um, other teams are moving around uh, the different um, checkoffs like state diagram, um, external subtest tra sub track, um, open and the open air uh, Hyperloop test. Um, a lot of work is going to be needed uh, to happen uh, tomorrow. Um, we've seen uh, the teams working really hard and we'll get into the social media now. Um, this was a video released by EPFL uh, Loop Hyperloop. And it focuses on their sponsor. Um, on est super heureux d'arriver ici en Californie après avoir passé des jours entiers à tester le pod à l'intérieur du tunnel à l'EPFL. On a pu directement récupérer tous nos, nos paquets en bon état, donc on a vraiment du temps pour peaufiner les derniers. And unfortunately, I don't avant la compétition. Speak French or Swiss French. But entièrement préparé par les étudiants dans le laboratoire de l'EPFL. Donc ici, il y a une imprimante 3D qui est en train de really like this though because she's explaining. On peut voir ici que l'équipe batterie est en pleine préparation des différents modules qui vont aller à l'intérieur du pod. Les batteries servent à EPFL. alimenter le pod. Donc ce matin, on a eu un petit problème par rapport au chargeur des batteries qu'on utilisait. So now we're going um, to look at some of the retweets of us today because so much has happened. Um, Edinburgh University has retweeted HyperEd, who are working hard and wishing them luck. Um, we see a little bit of retweeting from Justin Trudeau for the Canadian teams, Paradigm and University of Windsor Loop. Um, so good job um, working with uh, Paradigm is, of course, an international team of different uh, countries and um, just doing really well. So that's fun to see uh, Justin Trudeau tweet them out. And they've also visited the Consulate General of Canada um, in California. So that's very nice to see. Um, and HyperExcite visited the Boring Company. Um, more mentions from the Canadian Embassy. University of Windsor also visited the Boring Company. Um, and HyperEd did say we experienced some problems with the mechanical components which delayed some of our tests at SpaceX. The team has been working tirelessly to eliminate the issues and now we're back on track. Um, a lot of the teams are kind of battling that um, and let's check it out. So Queen's Hyperloop, um, one day to go, awesome week with awesome people, can't wait for the competitions to start all over again next year. And they've labeled their pod the Polar Express, that's funny from Canada, or so from Australia, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, Gator Loop from Florida um, visited Hyperloop One, so that's really cool. Go Gators. Um, they say it's a privilege to get a glimpse of the startup developing the future of transportation. Um, and uh, Mr. Beepop, uh, who's with Hyperloop TT, um, gave a presentation talk in Dubai. Present in the human imagination since 1836. They're trying to do what a river does. And he says uh, Hyperloop was envisioned in 1836. It brings life back. So we are not creating an architectonic barrier. We're trying to give back to the land. We're trying to create a river and you know give back to the land. And so this is uh, part of a series hosted by Beep Bop, co-founder and chairman of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, who talked about building the future of mobility, ticketless, frictionless, and sustainable. Um, discussed Hyperloop technology in the UAE, um, showcasing passengers' experience and challenges. Designers Sheikh Farah bin Zayed Al Nayan is our local sponsor in Abu Dhabi, and will be growing into a project that will see the first uh, Hyperloop commercial line available here for the first time in history in the UAE. This is an example of what you can achieve when you put together the best minds in the planet. So, some news from UAE, that's cool. Um, and this is the recap from uh, EPFL Loop.
basing from the printer to print uh, new stuff. Here we're gonna print boxes. Before there's always a lot of surprises, and it sometimes happens that we launch a print, say uh, it's done for the day, everything's good, and then someone comes to us and say, I need that in 30 minutes. Basically, since we're in Los Angeles, the prints almost never stop. One week ago, Ilan didn't know how to design a piece in uh, 3D software. And it's an example of uh, how we learn and how much things can move in such a small amount of time. So they brought a 3D printer and then kind of learned how to uh, train other teammates on we how to use a lot of pressure because we need to do the stuff very, very quickly. So we learn a lot in a very short time. And what we have shipped so far is uh, really great and we are very happy to be here. That's cool. Um, Edinburgh Hyperloop, uh, T two days, and this was eight hours ago. We we're experiencing some problems with the components, uh, working tirelessly overnight, um, like a typical student in Edinburgh. <laughs> Sorry, had to throw that out there. And this is really interesting. We haven't really seen much of the uh, software component um, of how the teams are interfaced with the pods. So this is a nice little. Um, uh, screenshot and unfortunately it's a little hard to see but we see velocity acceleration battery and then battery two battery lithium pack um, charge voltage temperature and current and we see connected um, and it looks like there's kind of a tube at the top and it says stop break launch reset I'm not sure what the other said emergency brakes one two three four uh, models and you know it's really interesting oh we also see a miles per hour or miles per second I'm not exactly sure and acceleration so that's really cool I haven't seen that with other teams yet um, and Hyperloop TT is putting up rainbows on the Hyperloop comment below and how we could paint a rainbow okay fine we'll click it I would paint? paint a rainbow because I like rainbows and tons of hearts and tons of stars and tons of unicorns. I would probably make it like a Star Wars theme thing. <laughs> Kylo Ren and like black and red so it'd look really cool. Yeah, they um, should paint the bottom, like Captain America, Hyperloop, Transportation, Technology. Okay, that's kind of fun. Um, going on to Midwest Hyperloop is working tirelessly after working nine to five at the SpaceX campus. They go home and continue to relax uh, and follow SpaceX's greatest tradition, continue working. That's not easy. Uh, Midwest Hyperloop, um, uh, through our rigorous tests upon our pod, we can't help but appreciate the reliable parts sent to us from our sponsors. So really nice close-up shots of braking and wheels um, and how that makes their pod go by. Um, Hyper Excite again next to the Boring Company and DP World, who is actually a partner with Hyperloop One in deploying cargo pods for their um, Hyperloop. Um, and so now let's just take a quick look at the stories. And University of Windsor, um, really happy to see support from Justin Trudeau. Thank you so much. Canada proud. That's pretty sweet. That's, yeah. Oh. So there's also a cool something we can This is Swiss Loops. Hi everyone, update. I'm back with another update from the SpaceX Hyperloop. And Swiss Loop is probably one of the top teams right now. Um, we haven't heard a lot of them. Of course, EPFL is Loop is doing a good job. Um, so Swiss Loop uh, is kind of surprised everybody, <laughs> um, and we they're doing really well. Here in LA, California. Sorry, it's a little bit later, but time just goes by crazy fast and. It's already the fourth day of the competition, of the testing week at least, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we also, we got a chance to do a first run in the tube that you can see a little bit behind me uh, yesterday in the afternoon and could do another run today as well, which is pretty cool. So it wasn't yet under vacuum condition or anything, just an open tube run, but still, it was really cool to get the chance. and. It's going pretty well so far, so there are a few issues that we need to fix and we are currently working on them. And, and yeah, so there's also a couple of other teams that are already also testing in the team or are getting pretty close to being ready for that stage. So it's going to be challenging in the next few days to still get a spot on the tube because it's probably going to be booked um, pretty often. But 
yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, overall, I think the competition is going pretty well, and I'm going to continue to keep you updated on our progress. So, as usual, keep an eye out for our stories and our posts, and hope to see you soon. Bye. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Swiss Loop, for doing that. Um, we've seen the photos from Edinburgh as well as Midwest Hyperloop working hard and hacking using the matrix um, and drinking Coke. Good job. And again, uh, the Rice Company is putting out a ton of uh, awesome posts about Turin and sponsoring um, their pod. Oops. And um, that's really awesome. Good job. Uh, they're talking about Madrid to Barcelona in 35 minutes. That would be amazing. Um, and tomorrow is the final part of the final, or Sunday's part of the final pod competition. EPFL Loop is getting ready for the day. And um, they 3D printed <laughs> in their hangar. Tesla is, uh, we also follow Tesla, of course. <laughs> Has not much to do with the SpaceX pod competition. But um, yeah, that's about it. Um, really exciting. Um, let's just quickly look for, um, well, maybe not. We'll just kind of keep it there. Um, tomorrow we'll be in SpaceX and uh, really enjoying uh, the sunny California weather. And uh, we'll be trying to talk with some of the teams and take some B footage um, at the test track tomorrow afternoon. Um, so looking forward and stay in the Hyperloop.